In this video, we will learn about errors that we may come across while we are writing formulas. In Excel, when a calculation that we have asked Excel to do results in an error, or if we type something that Excel cannot understand, then we get errors and Excel has certain ways of displaying errors. We will talk about some of the common errors that we will be running into when we work with formulas. Let's say we want to calculate the total number of hours worked by Rahul in December. So I can do it by just pointing to the salary that he should receive in December divided by the hourly salary. And this will give me the number of hours that Rahul worked in December. So this is a formula that works and without any errors. So let's say by mistake, instead of pointing to the hourly salary cell, I pointed to another cell where there is no information. And I'm going to hit enter. And now you see Excel is giving us a weird looking thing. And this is Excel's way of saying there is an error. And this error is the division by zero error. And that's because we were dividing the number by an empty cell. And that means Excel thinks, how am I going to divide a number by zero? And that's impossible. So it's giving you an error. And it also gives you a little bit of help here. When you look at this, the formula or function used is dividing by zero or empty cell. So this is Excel's hint at saying what this error is about. And you can read more about this error if you'd like. Actually, we would just, in this case, point it to the right information, which is the hourly salary, and now it works great. So this is one of the commonly uh, occurring errors, which is the division by zero. And let's say if instead of pointing to the hourly salary by mistake, if I pointed it to a text value, in this case, a name, and I'm going to hit enter, Excel is giving me a different error message now. A value used in this formula is of the wrong data type. And this is nothing but Excel is expecting a number whenever you're doing operations like division or multiplication, but we gave it a text value. So it's the wrong type of data. So Excel immediately says there is an error. I can't do this calculation. I can't execute this formula. So it's throwing this error. So let's go back to our previous formula here where we actually compared this cell to D dot Rahul and it returned with a no because there is no space between dot and R, which is fine, which works fine. This is a properly executed formula and there is no error in this. However, let's say instead of D dot Rahul, I just put D dot Rahul without the double quotes and then I hit enter. Excel gives me a different error now. All these things are error values. So you can go here and see the formula contains unrecognized text. So what this means is that Excel cannot understand what D dot Rahul means, because if you don't put it within the double quotes, Excel doesn't know that it's a text value. So if I put it back, then it goes away. So I'm going to do undo. So this is what you will see if you have unrecognized name or unrecognized text information in your formulas. Now let's say we want to do a VLOOKUP function and I'm going to look up a name, let's say Arjun, in this table or array and I want it to return the second column here which is nothing but the hourly salary for Arjun and I want an absolute match or exact match and I'm hit okay now I get an error which is NA and this says a value is not available to the formula why this is happening is that Excel is trying to find the name Arjun in this column and it actually came across S dot Arjun but that's not the exact match for Arjun so Excel could not find this exact name anywhere in this set of cells. So it is returning us 
a not available error. And this is an error that you would see wherever the value that Excel is trying to calculate is not available. And especially in the VLOOKUP function, when it's not able to find a match for this, then you get a not available. And as soon as I have the right information here, S dot space Arjun, Excel now brings back the correct hourly salary. Let's do undo. So this is another error. Now the first error that we saw was dividing by zero. So if I'm dividing this by an empty cell, then you get dividing by zero. Now for the next error, let's do a calculation using a different cell. Let's say I have a cell here which says 365 and I, I want to just divide the salary for December here divided by this value that is 365 and hit enter and this is 35.62 rupees so this works fine and let's say by mistake or by for some reason i delete this column entirely and now excel is having a new type of error here moving or deleting cells cost an invalid cell reference so this is because when we deleted that column Excel is now saying, I was pointing to a cell in that column to do my calculation here. Now that column has been deleted, so I don't know what to do. And so it's giving us uh, not found or, you know, it's, a, it's an error that you get when the reference is invalid. Uh, the cell reference that you had in your formula is not available or invalid anymore. Now for the final error that we're going to talk about today, I'm going to just type in here a date function and date is a function which will give us back a date value if you give it the year, month and date. So if I put in 2013 comma 10 comma 2, so this would be a date except that we are already form formatted this cell to be currency but we know how to change it. So we go back here put into a date format. And now we have October 2nd, 2013, because that's the function. And this is these are the arguments that we gave year, month and day. So let's say by mistake, instead of saying 2013, if I said minus 2013 and I hit enter, Excel is having a new error here. And as always, click the cell and this icon pops up there is a problem with a number used in the formula so this is the error that you get when you actually have a number in a formula or function which is not the expected type of number there is a problem with this number because in the date function it was expecting a positive number and we entered a negative number so excel is finding it an error because it cannot process this um, function anymore so these are some of the commonly noticed errors when you work with the data in Excel. And again, most often you would like to go and find out why there is an error and then try to fix it. And then the errors go away. In some cases, you may still want to keep the formula the way it is, but you want to just handle the error. Handle the error meaning if Excel finds an error, you would like Excel to do something. And if Excel doesn't have an error, then you want to do something else let's say. And for such cases, Excel has a function to handle these errors. It's called the if error function. And basically, if error function only takes two arguments here, it just says what is the value. And in this case, let's say we are dividing the salary here by an empty cell. And this we know that it is going to give you a division by zero error. And now comma, what should Excel give if it's an error? So you could say, if it's an error, give me the value not found. And in this case, if there is an error in this calculation, then you will get this text displayed. There you go. So we have not found displayed when this resulted in an error. And let's say if this is not an error, then, for example, I'm going to divide this by a number, then Excel will return the actual value returned by this calculation, and it will disregard this 
not found text. So this kicks in only if the result of this calculation is an error. Let's do it for one more formula here. We did this we lookup and we actually, let me just copy this and paste it here. So this is the formula that results in uh, a, a value which is not available error. So I'm going to use this as my, um, for my if error function, I'm going to use comma. And if it's not there, type in employee not found. So this is the message that I want Excel to display if it's not able to find a specific name in this. And I would say this, it'll say employee not found. So this looks much better for display rather than having a NA. So this is one reason why we would like to use the if error function to display something which is more meaningful. And also if you can also choose this to display if the employee is not found, let's say, we want Excel to display zero and you could do that as well. So this could be handy and you can choose any number here instead of any text value. And these are the reasons why error handling is something which you will deal with when you work with a lot of data over time. And you can use the if error function to handle these errors.